Hello, welcome back to Markenstein Coin Lab, where the next thing we need to get for our gaming or mining PC would be a hard drive or SSD drive. In this particular case, since SSDs have come down in price considerably lately, I would suggest we have picked out a motherboard, a CPU, a 8 gig memory stick, a video drive a video card a case and then we need an SSD drive which I've called up here this is where we'd store our programs uh, to run everything the entry level is twenty dollars for an SSD if we want to move up a little bit I would probably start looking at a 256 I see they have a two, 240 or a 256 for only 29 So for nine more dollars, as opposed to $20, you get double the capacity. And if you would st want to step up into more of a name brand name, here's a Crucial 240 for 34 If we go a little farther up the list here, Crucial, here's a 250 and right here, this is probably what I would pick right here, is the Inland Professional 480. Or, if we move a little farther, the Crucial 480. Oh, and the Western Digital, but that's only a 250. So at this point, I'm probably not wanting to go much past $50. So, we would probably be looking at, let's see, I'm comparing, you've got a 480 or a 512 for just a dollar more. So, uh, this is probably what I'm looking at right here. So, this would be your, your drive that you would need to plug in. Pins up right there. This is where power would plug in. And this is where your SATA cable, which you would need to also get a cable, to plug in there. So this would be the next one, and generally these are uh, covered. I like you got a four-year limited warranty. Uh, that is th that would last a pretty long time. So this is would be probably this this one, or if they were out of stock, I would probably get this one here. Let's see what kind of warranty this comes with. This comes with a four-year also. They're both very well supported, and these are microcenter brands. Uh, I've used them in the past, and I know they work well. So that would be your drive. You could also get a hard drive, which if I click on hard drives here, and uh, I go to lowest price because we're budget-minded, and I look through the list here. Um, there's a, a refurbed hard drive. One terabyte, not bad, but I would go up a little farther. Let's see what they have. Here's that SSD. And let's see, we've got a Toshiba one terabyte right here, or a Seagate Barracuda one terabyte for $34.95. So I would probably, if you want a mechanical drive, this would be the other way to go. You get uh, a lot more space. You get a terabyte for $34.95. So, and the only other thing I would look at then is how long, well, you only get a year limited warranty. So it would be, you could either go that route, um, let's go back, or let's take a look at the Seagate Barracuda that comes with a two year limited warranty. And if we go up just a titch more, because we we're willing to go up to about $50. Let's see. Ah, we have a Western Digital. Let's see what that goes up to. That's also a one terabyte. And uh, they give that a one-year warranty. So at this point, we have pretty uh, three good choices here. Um... See, thirty-four ninety-nine. They're all thirty-four ninety-nine. Uh, I kind of like how this one looks. 
we would probably go Western Digital here, maybe. And right there. That or the Seagate Barracuda. Or the Toshiba. But I have a tendency to lean toward getting the um, SSDs these days. Solid state seems to. Here's another Western Digital, one terabyte. Crucial 250. Well, I would say at this point, I'm probably picking out. We'll go with this guy right here because it's 5099. That's my budget. And this comes with five. It's a half a terabyte. And it's solid state. Solid state meaning it doesn't have mechanical moving parts. It's actually got chips in it. So that would be the next component I would get. And on that, I would say have a good day. Take care.